guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are in for some major shoe porn today because I am here with the 10 shoes that everyone needs in their closet. Last month I did 10 clothing items that every girl needs in their closet, so I will link that video below. And so many of you guys were like, do the shoe one. So of course I had to do it for you guys. The shoes that I am going to be talking to you guys about today are these shoes that literally if I could only have 10 pairs, these would be the 10 pairs or 10 styles and I would be totally fine because they can take you literally anywhere. Make sure you guys check the description box below because I will be linking to everything that I've shown as well as more affordable dupes. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you guys hit subscribe before we get started for more content like this. And I am so excited, so let's just do it. These are in no particular order because my shoes are like my babies and I love them all, but probably the most worn shoe style that I wear are ballet flats, you guys. Yes, you may be surprised, it's not a pair of heels ballet flats. I wear them to work. I wear them casually. I wear them whenever. Sometimes even if it's a night out and I really can't be bothered with the heels, I will wear a pair of ballet flats. These right now are my favorite kind of classy girl ballet flats. Tori Burch, you guys, make some of the best ballet flats and these are a pair of nude ones that I wore to death. Like there are holes in the soles. Holes in the soles. That was a rhyme. So yeah, these are absolutely disgusting but an amazing pair of flats that lasted me a year. So I'm gonna link to also some Tory Burch ones, but these need to just go, they're so sick. I can't even believe I showed that to you guys. Okay, so the second pair of shoes I think every woman needs in their closet, and these are probably my second most worn style of shoe, the pointy toe pump, you guys. Literally, this is the most basic of shoes. They just have a nice pointy toe at the front. You've got a nice skinny stiletto heel, really, really classic silhouette. This kind of shape of shoe is never gonna go out of style. Again, the pointy toe pump can be worn casually with jeans for like a daytime look. But then again, you can also wear these with more dressy outfits. I've worn these with dresses, with skirts, with pencil skirts, with work outfits. Again, this is the kind of shoe like the ballet flat that can be worn with everything. Okay, it's hitting me in the face. Time to put it down. Now, I do have these in black patent as well. I always like to go for patent leather. I say patent, not patent, because I find it wears really well. Like, these shoes are maybe three or four years old, and I wear them all the time. I've had them resold and things, but you can see they look brand new because patent leather is durable as hell. The next style of shoe is something that has been strapped to my feet all freaking summer, and that is the casual sneaker. I am going with my white Keds for this one because these, you guys, I, oh my god, I have a dirt stain on them. How unacceptable. Everyone made fun of me when I bought them and was like, you're going to look like a nurse. But the casual white sneaker, like the white Ked, can be worn with your little cutesy summer dresses like I'm wearing today. I also wear this with jeans and it looks really nice and chic with denim shorts. I've also worn it with like a button-up shirt and denim shorts in this. These are like the ultimate casual shoe, you guys. And I am literally considering, actually, like not considering, I'm actually ordering another pair because... These ones are getting a little worse for wear since I've worn them so much since I got them this summer. The next shoe style I want to talk to you guys about are these strappy open toe heels. The shoe that actually got me into this trend were these ones here, which you guys have seen me wear a bunch of times. These are my Aquazura Amazon pumps. These ones, I didn't want to just get something completely simple because at the time I was like, oh, that's way too simple for me. So I got these. This shoe actually works in the same way as your traditional simple strappy shoe, single strap shoe would, because it is in the nude. So the straps are very leg lengthening and almost disappear on your leg. However, I realized I was missing something in my strappy shoe collection. And so for my birthday, I actually picked up the simple strappy shoe. And these are like the most simple as it gets. And I am obsessed, you guys. I'm a full-on convert. These shoes are amazing. I actually have not worn these yet. I'm saving them for a wedding I'm going to in a couple of weeks. I just got them, but I am obsessed. I've tried them on. I've worn them around the house. So comfortable and so chic. And these just make your legs look so sexy. Like, I actually think I prefer these even to my Aqua Zero ones, which you guys know I have worn to death. The next pair of shoes I'm going to talk to you guys about are these slides. And this is another thing that I am a recent convert to. Oh my, these are a little dirty because I wore them to the cottage this weekend. These are truly like the grown-up flip-flop. I think if you're anywhere like from 25 plus and you want something really comfortable but you don't want to sacrifice your summer style and you still want to look chic, you need to invest in a pair of slides, or not even invest, because these are from Zara, these ones. I paid $50. Anytime I just want to have a nice flat open toe shoe that's easy breezy, these are my go-to. Next up, I'm actually going with a black shoe, you guys, and that is the over-the-knee boot, the thigh-high boot. Oh my god, you guys. I could not do this video without mentioning the over-the-knee boot, because these are strapped to my legs in the fall and the winter, especially since I live in Canada, where it's cold most of the year. Okay, so for over-the-knee boots, I'm always a fan of suede. I think it looks less hooker than like a patent or like a leather kind of pair. These are actually by Stuart Weitzman. He makes my favorite over-the-knee boots because they have the tie at the back here, so you can really cinch them to your thigh so they're not going to fall down. 
and also because the heel height is not too high it's also a more blocky heel so it's not a stiletto so I think if you're new to heels this is something that could help you get comfortable walking in heels all day because they're truly comfortable they just instantly up your outfit and make them more chic I'm just obsessed literally obsessed with over the knee boots and I'm low-key excited for over the knee boot season but low-key depressed because I love the warmth I, I suck a hard like so hard while we're talking about full trends the next style of shoe I think every woman needs are booties you guys ah these are another kind of shoe that I live in in the fall and winter. I think they are, again, so versatile. I have two different kinds. I've got your traditional black booty with like a block heel. Block heel booties are truly my favorite as opposed to a stiletto heel. These ones are like super extra because they have the diamonds on the back from Dolce & Gabbana. Love these, but you can just get your plain black booty like this. Again, something like this is something you can slip on pretty much all the time. You don't have to think about it and it always looks really nice and good and put together. And then I also have these taupe booties here and I think taupe or nude booties again are a must have. Sometimes you just want to break up your old dark outfits in the winter or if you're doing winter white these look really really nice it just adds something a little bit different two more styles of shoes that I think everyone needs in their closet this next one we're bringing it back to a summer essential for me and that is the espadrilles you guys oh my goodness I got my first pair of espadrilles last year and I was hooked so I had to get the Mac Daddy of espadrilles this year these are from the brand Castaño which is a Spanish brand that just solely makes espadrilles these give me that height but they remain really comfortable since they're actually like a really blocky wedge these also lace up your ankles really beautifully as well so you get that ballerina tie they look gorgeous with dresses I've worn them with shorts with jeans you name it these are again go with everything and I got them in this taupey nude color because you guys know I like me some nude shoes that match everything and finally you guys drum roll please last but not least the shoe style that every woman needs in their closet is something statement and I know that's really broad but I've got two of my favorite statement shoes to share with you guys I have these Louboutins right here that are bright red suede live love everything about these these would also work really well as your classic pointy toe pump I spoke about earlier now because this is a really classic silhouette of shoe I can still wear this with basically anything dresses jeans shorts anything you name it but the color just adds something fun to any outfit I especially love these with um, an all white outfit it looks bomb.com and they're the most comfortable Louboutins you will ever own and then another pair of statement shoes that I love that I had to mention somewhere because they're also really comfortable are my Valentino Rockstar shoes. I know everyone and their mother has this and it's debatable whether it's a classic or a statement. I still consider these a little bit of a statement because the gold studs really sparkle in the light when you wear them. The T-strap is something a little bit different and this just adds a little bit of something to what could be a basic nude pump. These are the most comfortable shoes ever you guys but do you want to see something sad? I damage them by stepping in a grate like this one here you can see the plastic so anything that's gonna add a little bit of interest or texture or sparkle to what my normal basic kind of classic outfit I am all for so yeah you guys those are the 10 styles of shoe I think everyone needs in their closet because I have most of my basics covered now I that means I can go a little bit crazy in shoe sales and things like that and I can get some different styles but I am really happy with my shoe collection let me know what you guys think the must-have shoe styles are for you in your closet and let me know what you guys thought of this video if you guys liked it and I will be back really soon with another thank you guys so much for watching